Hello, Murray Newlands here with Performance Marketing Insider TV in New York at the Performance Marketing Insights Conference. I'm here with Stephen from LinkedIn. At Efficient, we believe in everything we do. We believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by allowing our people to define us, by allowing our technology to create the curve, by delivering unmatched results for our clients. That's efficient, the network of efficiency. Today we deliver unparalleled results in lead generation, education and query generation, display marketing, database building, cost per acquisition, pay per call and mobile marketing. Want to work with us? Please visit efficient.com today. Start believing with us. Tell me um, what you're seeing with the latest changes in Google and how your product helps people with content marketing and affiliate marketing in that space. Okay, so one of the things Google did in the tail end of last year was they actually moved to a focus on who is writing a story on the web as opposed to where the story is being published. And I think that is a massive change that is bringing the search industry and the PR industry together. Right. So it's providing an opportunity for content marketers to utilize the, the techniques of the PR industry really. Talk to me about that in detail. What does that really mean? Okay, so to get good problems on the web, you need good content, you need to get the right people getting your message out, and you actually need a well-constructed website. Yeah. So you've got to think like a PR agency, so have a long-term strategic view on content. You've got to think like a PR agency for who you want to engage with to get your message out. And then you've got to think like a search agency to make sure the website is structured so that actually when people land on the site, it's a site that Google likes, so Google is going to rank well. So as an affiliate, if you're building affiliate sites, gone are the days of slapping up a simple site and having someone offshore produce lots of simple uh, content really quickly. It's, you've got to go for quality. Absolutely. The, if you want to earn 100 bucks a month, you don't need to go for quality. But if you want to be a full-time affiliate now, you need very good quality content that is unique, that Google identifies people don't bounce off quickly, yeah. that Google identifies is actually there and is what people want. And you, to, to rank well, you've got to actually have authority coming into your site. And the authority now is not from other sites, it's from other people as, as much as other sites. And that's the really important thing. So building a real brand online and a brand presence for your content. Absolutely. So, I mean, in the UK, UK web media have done it very well with their Recombu site, for instance, um, and that's where they've actually gone out and employed journalists to write story, journalists who know other people who are then going to link back with authority to them. I mean, that sounds like common sense SEO, but now Google said that's the way to do it, basically. Well, it, it is common sense SEO, and I think the, the slight tweak is it's more important to say get Michael Arrington writing a story as opposed to a staff writer if you want Google to really identify that the quality is there in the, the journalist. And so Google has Google Plus for a reason. It's to improve the quality of the results and it's going to use the data in G Plus to improve people's experience. As a content creator myself, fed up with um, just the churn of content coming out there and being focused on quality. That really matters to me, and I can see how you need to get into the right mindset for how to make that work. Yeah. What other changes do you see coming up in the future? What changes are coming up in the future? I think that you've got to, to have a real holistic view as to how you're going to engage with the public. So you've got um, search, you've got PR, you've got social, you've got to really understand how they interact together. Content is another part you've got to understand, on-site SEO. The, the, I mean, the LinkedIn platform is about taking integrated data sets and spotting the, the nuggets that link them, link them together. So writing content is a good thing, but actually what's your objective? You've got to think about what your objective is. and. Are you achieving your objectives so you, you get a story published? Is the page ranking well on the back of that actually the one that you expected to rank well? If not, 
perhaps that's a good thing, but you've got to go back to the drawing board and understand what's going on. So you've really got to look at things holistically and, and actually have technology that views the interactions between your different data sets. Fantastic. If people want to find out more and contact you, how do they do that? Find out more, they go to linkdex.com to contact me personally, stephen.brown at linkdex.com. Stephen, thank you very much. Have a great show. Great. Thanks very much. I'm Murray Newlands with Performance Marketing Insider TV here in New York. I'll see you next time.